There has been a lot of residual damage after Tropical Storm Elsa blew through Weathersfield last week. Several towns, many towns here in the state have been dealing with this residual damage. But this morning, we're in Weathersfield. I'm joined by Brianna Smalley. She is a resident here in Weathersfield. And Brianna, when you came downstairs, saw seven to 10 inches of water in your basement. Walk, walk us through that day. Yeah, so really, I mean, I just came down to grab something. For the life of me, I can't remember what it is. And I just saw my vinyl records floating. I saw the gym mat floor that was all connected so it was safe for the kids lifted up and floating and just so much water in 100% of the basement. And I was just in total shock. And right behind her, you can see her vinyl records are currently drying. Uh, what went through your mind when you came downstairs and not only saw your vinyl records, but also all of your children's toys and everything that was in the basement floating around? Yeah, so really, I just went into fix-it mode. I wasn't even thinking, and in retrospect, that was the dangerous part, right? I stepped right into inches and inches of water, and I just kept pulling up the floor and just sweeping the river into the storm drain, and I did that for like seven hours wow. and just pulling everything outside, and I was just in shock. I mean, I'm ready to obviously get rid of most of the children's things and just move them on, and it's a shame we can't donate them. Um, and dry out as much as we can. That was Lauren Zenzi reporting.